So. Roll the damage, Axel. Just roll the fucking damage. Eleven. I tried. I tried so hard. Is is that eleven before the double or after the double? That's total. It's total. Oh. That's with and modifiers and everything. Oh. Ow. That you're fine. <laughs> am, am I fine? Because I'm currently at 21 health. That's fine. That's not even me. I'm good if I get hit. Yeah, but are you going to get hit? I mean, technically, I could have crit. I just crit Michael twice, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> speaking speaking of this one shooting at four hits. <laughs> well, it's, she's right there. She, you were there, and then you moved back. So I'm worried about you down. Uh, I if I roll three crits, we're just gonna stop the game because everyone will die. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't roll a crit, and I I almost hit you, but I did not roll a crit. So you're good. Yeah. And that makes it. Oh, she's dead. My turn. Yes. Oh shit. Oh, there it is. I was like, where did I just put my new pen? Okay. So I thought of a really cool thing, and it didn't work. So instead, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to step right there. Hey. No. Aww. Not as far as I know. You never let me have no fun. Well, when you get some good advantage, I'll let you have fun. Also, you do let me have a lot of fun. Uh, I usually try to let players do what they want in general. That's why Michael has poison that could kill him in like two hits. <laughs> <laughs> but all care that, that poison has a very low DC save. It does, but you act like it doesn't do damage. That's why it does damage, because it's easy to save against. If they have what? any bonus to its constitution, all they gotta do is roll a 10. Hell, even if they don't have a bonus, all they gotta do is roll a fucking 10 and it needs saved. Yeah, it's half damage on a successful save, though. <laughs> there's no full save from it. I was like, wait, I know there's something wrong with this. I was like, nap. Yeah. Anyway, cool. that means guaranteed damage. Wait, what? Critical? Criticals, you roll two dice, right? Yeah, so you roll the, the basic damage dice twice. Whatever those basic damage dice are. 20. I rolled a 20, so that's a 25 to hit. That's a hit. And a crit. And then I roll my two eights. Uh, it's an eight plus three, so eleven. What's your modifier for your dexterity to add on to that? Oh, do I get to do that? Yes, whenever you use a, as long as you are proficient in a weapon, you add its mo relative ability modifier onto its damage output if it is that type of weapon. So, for example, I believe finesse weapons use dexterity. Yes, uh, yep. Jewel, because Jewels uses one. Dexterity is is it higher? Yeah, they it is, they do that. Yep. Fourteen damage. Nice. That is a good hit, and that's the one right in front of you, right? Yeah. That's he goes down. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you have the tank. <laughs> um, that's movement. So now it's Florence's turn. She's gonna move out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. At least uh, you killed the one in front of me. I will take like that. Thank you. You did me good. Because that was, that was gonna hurt. Your turn, what do you do? Okay. I'm oh, I got a couple of things. Are they still on fire? They were never on fire, you just hit them on fire. I know. Did they catch on fire? No. Too hard. Just like <laughs> for reference. Dun, 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 rocks. 
Okay, she's going to try again at burning their cannon. Alrighty. Let's see if they can make the saves this time. Well, one did. He's jumping out of the way. People never take that into account. It's like, he dodged it. How? By standing there and doing the matrix? Yeah. Just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. If he had done that, man, he wouldn't be in this mess. But he still took five damage. Yeah, well, that. Oh, that's right, that's full five. No, he still takes it. It's not a save as much, though. He still takes the five damage. Oh, boy. Ow. He can burn, baby, burn. <laughs> it's no inferno. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for making me feel like that joke was not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it with a cherry in the glass. Why are you going over there, Wedge? For reasons. Stop trying to run away, Wedge. Right? <laughs> Speaking of which, man, my rolls are crappy when I want them to be good. And, uh, you still make her happy behind. Take her happy behind. Moving. Uh, it's not dead, that's the wrong one. Bam! What does that mean? I mean, you'll have to look and see. I like that that does not rotate on the picture, it just stays there. It's like a Nimbus cloud. Wedge's turn. It's just the new uh, Noel in the corner. Both over here. That's just 30 feet of movement. And he's going to dodge three arrows and he's going to fire at, at each of these Noles. At each Noel? Yep. I'm going to dodge three arrows and try to hit those three Noles. Uh, I mean, he can try it. I mean, I. Uh, what is, uh, okay, never mind. Axel. Well, I'm gonna have to figure that out because it's really dumb. Because <laughs> you've got three different arrows, uh, you don't have any multi attack currently. <laughs> Which, even a multi attack would be like Legolas just pull one out, pull one out, pull one out. But. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's why I know. That's why I'm saying that would be a much easier thing to do than what you're trying to do, which is basically fucking Hawkeye, that bitch. <laughs> that's why people are always like, which one, Legolas or Hawkeye? Well, technically, if you go by feats, Hawkeye beats every other marcher in the universe. Yep, even Arrow. Yo, yeah, by a bunch. People think it's close. It's not even close. No, absolutely not. Said so the the green arrow feats are just not as big as people. He's like, I took the top off of a soda can. Then you then you got like Hawkeye. I just took that guy's earring off at three miles. I've literally seen him shoot a target that he couldn't see anymore. He's just like predictive <laughs> accuracy. He's also really good at that, like, the reflective trick, I believe, was originally a Hawkeye trick, because it's technically a circus trick. That's where the character's from. Anyway, 
uh, let's start with the concept, right? That's how I just break these down. Is like, all right, we have tools in D and D to work with these things. That's how you add new shit in. So you're trying to do something that I think would take quite a bit of dexterity, personally. Uh, I personally have done stuff with like hands juggling, etc. Hand training. Um, hand stuff? Oh, all the time. Do you like hand stuff? I love hand stuff. Um, have you ever tr- have you have you ever tried to grab three things at once with one hand? Yeah. It all depends on the thing, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gay. Of course, I have. Have you ever? Sorry, let me rephrase. Have you ever tried to hold, right, carry three things at once with one hand? Yes. Three. Yeah. Very. And when you grab them, how do you grab them? Uh, one between each of my... Numbers. Right, right. What I mean is, how do you grab them, right? Do you go and you're just like, BAM! Pop bottles! Are they side by side? Or do you have to go boom, boom, boom and catch each of them in a finger slot? So you're gonna have to like... They're side by side, like my, my arrows are side by side in a quiver. Even then, you're gonna have to get all three of them into an individual finger slot. Said so when you do this, is not like the fluid. Of, it's going to take a ton of dexterity. So you're gonna have to make a dex roll to grab the arrows, not even to fire the arrows, just to grab. It's just to prove it. It's like I just wrote a video of Michael grabbing three pops at once. Just to, just as a reference video, we're just gonna make live action D and D reference videos. Can I do this during action? Let's see. <laughs> God damn. Fuck no, I can't do this. <laughs> All right, so I'll roll my dexterity. Uh, that's, that's a nineteen. All right, that's pretty good. That that's a near level, legendary level of uh, dexterity. 20 is legendary, so we'll say that's good enough. Although some DMs might put you at a 25 or a 30 for that, but I'll let it go with a 19 because I think this is funny and I want to see how badly it can go. <laughs> so, now you have to knock all three of these arrows, which, yeah, that's looking, looking once again, people are always like, Dang, that's why it was so amazing. Knocking an arrow, if you don't, even when you shoot arrows, is like a thing that you have to line it up perfectly every time. Let's not, let's not, so we can get on with this. We never get on with anything. We've been fighting this fight forever. Oh, no, 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 there are no, no complaints from me, but it's just that if he goes wrong, he will accidentally kill Florence again. He might. I mean, he has to hit your AC, too. Yours is higher than mine. Yours is higher than theirs, too. It's more likely to somehow miss you and hit me. I'm probably gonna hit the cat. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so we're going to need a, a dex roll to knock your arrows. Get three arrows perfectly knocked in shooting range. That's a nat 20. Alright, he's got good knocks. Now, <laughs> we get to ma start making rolls. So, that's just to knock three arrows. Now you have to make a skill to shoot three arrows at once successfully. Yup. Said just the releasing of all three of these arrows at once. He's getting good rolls. He might get it done. I doubt he'll get to the attack roll though. That's, that's a dirty twenty. It's good. That should be. Uh, I mean, technically, once again, if I were to go by the classic D and D skill, you'd need like a fucking thirty for a legendary act. Let's see. D day. D twenty. Legendary versus easy actions. Oh, not the legendary actions. Whatever, we'll do it later. So now you have to make three attack rolls. One for this one, one for this one, and one for this one, all at disadvantage. Because I let you do all that without disadvantage. <laughs> Which all of those, all of those previous actions should have probably been with d disadvantage. <laughs> But we let you slide. Like I said, I've let things slide because I think they're funny. So I'm gonna roll 60 20s. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. Do not get hit. Oh. 
Oh shit. I didn't know they changed this in 5e. Huh? So unlike in other f versions of D&D, &D, skill checks D20s are not natural successes. Because DC runs beyond, so it runs into like DC of a lock 25, which is actually a pretty standard level for a high level lock. But yeah, that's that's why it's like it's a legendary feat. Yeah, like the, the for the for the current rules and successes, technically by the letter of the books, they only apply that to attack rolls. But I've never in my life heard of a DM that doesn't allow. Or I usually like it because it's yeah. yeah. All right. So the lowest roll I got on one was a four. So with my plus eight, so that's a twelve. All right, so that's a miss. And then I got a eleven and a ten. And those are next lowest. And those are also with your disadvantage, I assume. Yes, because I rolled six dice, and those were the lowest numbers on the dice. All right, so you should be able to hit those. All right, because with the ten, eleven, that's an eighteen and a nineteen. Nice. And once again, none of this would have ever been possible just based on the fact that every single roll would have been a disadvantage roll, but it was still funny to do. So, the, the 12 misses. Yep. And I'm going to assume we're going to have the 12 be the one that's the farthest away. Uh, I didn't say that. Why would that be that way? It's a random chance. Alright, DM, roll the random chance dice. You mean the D100? Gladly. People act like there's no random chance dice. 75. That's top tier thirds. So you missed the closest guy. Okay. And because you're shooting three arrows, all of your arrows do one third damage. What? That's, that's the closest. Yep. You said you've missed this guy, so you hit this guy, and this guy. Yay, so I'll roll my damage. The first one, that's 12. Said divided by three is going to be four. And then the next one, holy shit, I got another 12. <laughs> so that's, that's another four damage. So four damage and four damage. I am genuinely impressed. Yeah, those are good rolls. And now it is this turn. <laughs> Where the hell was Lynn doing the performance? Suck my ass! <laughs> I like it funnier because one of the things you know, no one ever counts on on doing stuff like that, right? So. Yeah, no, no. You now are terrified, especially since. <laughs> Six. Hardly. <laughs> I, 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 I would say that that's nice, and yes, I will agree to that, but at the same rate, you threw that. The funny thing is, he did so well that they now consider him the number one threat. <laughs> Yay! So let's see if I can get some more crits. That's nice. Uh, I didn't get a crit, but I definitely got a hit on that one. And that was without using the advantage. Let's see for this one. Oh. Ah, but I got it with advantage. Um. So sorry, they don't get advantage there. Uh, they have, uh, run because of their specialties. Remember when I said these were special gnolls earlier? Oh, yeah, yeah, but wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, barely. I can see both of them. I can see all three of them. So technically, I could be able to cut in words one of them. You could. You just gotta decide which ones you cut. Also, you gotta be faster on those, because I'll be running them through pretty quick on successes and fails, since I know your stuff. Yeah. Like, you gotta be, like, and that's kind of the point of having a reaction as well, as it's a reaction. <laughs> yes, so, like, you need to be like, oh, it hit, nope, no, it's like, did I roll that, he attacked, nope. Would you like to skip this time, then? Uh, you can go ahead and do it for this one. Are you sure you don't want to save it and see if this guy hits? <laughs> <laughs> There's one more roller. I'll save it. Alright, let's see if this guy hits, because he does not get advantage. Oh! 
he uh he hit oh, well that's the thing i'm not supposed to tell you it's supposed to be before i'm supposed to roll a number that guy crit oh my god <laughs> I can't. No, no, no. I think this is beautiful car. Beautiful car. And just a just a reference to those last couple rolls that we're able to do. These are rolls without bonus modifiers because I do all bonus mods later. I have too much shit to do. You just hear Florence say, "This is what you get for just saying what you just said." So karma is in the dream with me on something. There you go. There's there's the next run. <laughs> To be fair, this is uh, because he uh, caught too much attention. <laughs> oh, man. He's just too like, flashy. he was too flashy. He was too buggy, the clown. <laughs> he did it all flashily. Yeah, and and uh, when the, the hits came, he took a fall, but he did it his way. Yeah. As a play. He did. Uh, we're gonna see when I start rolling. To be fair, I mean, it's not like my other crits killed him. <laughs> I have ten health. Yeah, you're fine. What? Unless that crit, he rolls a fucking one and another one? <laughs> no, I'm not. You literally have to roll minimum damage on all of those. Oh, yeah. Down. That is eight, and then that's all the damage, though. So how much damage did it take? Eight, fourteen. No, 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 no. Yeah, fourteen, seventeen. So you're down, but you're not out because it's been impossible in the game. Can't kill anybody. Bullshit. He was so cool, and then he had to go and die. Speaking of, I finally get to use these no stupid special ability. What? Don't do special abilities. Yeah, gnolls come with their own special ability that's not pre-designed by me, but I never get to use it. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, uh... One, two, three, yep. One, two, three, yep. One, two, oh no, this one. Yeah, one, two, three. And one, two, three. But one, two, three, four, five. And he smacks it with the club. Let me double check. Or staff, sorry. He staffs, uh, he st smacks this big dude with a staff. All right, save wedge. <laughs> He yells, at which point uh, this kitty, which did not stay grouped, stupid non-grouped dumbness. Yeah, I tried moving it, it wouldn't let me move it. Yeah, oh man, it's dumb. He's here with you though, in spirit, and also with Arrow. That's the thing, we'll just, we're just we gonna save my we'll save Michael. I have an idea. <laughs> Catharsis will jump in front of the crit arrow. <laughs> Hero cat! Hero minion! Go! That's where the term originally came from. I'm really annoyed that I picked Cure Wounds. Okay, not healing word. It's a better spell, honestly. It seems like it's not, but it really is. It's cool in the moment. I was a baby. I was a baby and I didn't know any better. It's a cool in the moment one, but it's tough to choose. Healing Word just has a whole, like, Healing Word's broken. You literally hit someone with Healing Word and they're back up. It's dumb. It's all you need. No, what I want to do. And you just hear Florence. And then, and once again, when faced with an obstacle that he cannot surpass, Michael prays to his god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about saying that with Wedge's gasp before he goes unconscious, he prays for Tiamat's help to save him. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I think you've already been saved a couple times by your god. Nope, I only called for it once, and all I did was an enlarge Clarence. That was this time. <laughs> that 
That was in this session. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know, it's like, that's your go-to move. <laughs> Question. Are these things that I see specifically, because I passed that perception check, uh, are they, do they seem to be made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal, or metal? Yes, partially at least. Radical. Then they're going to have disadvantage on what I'm about to do. 10-foot radius sphere. Um... How do I make a circle again? Uh, Cheap. Are all three of these in a 10-foot radius sphere? Well, yeah, they would have to be since the farthest ones are 15 apart. So if I put it here. So the best way to do a, a sphere from it is you take a section, right? Take the section in between them, like right here, and put 10 feet all the way out. So like this guy, 10 feet, 10 feet, not there, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet. Because that's the only thing you can really control is your point of origin. Radical. Then I'm going to put that right there. And all three of these buds are going to have disadvantage on this saving throw. They're going to have to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. All right. One of them made it. That was it. Yeah, he rolled. Uh, oh no, he might no, because he'll have his bonus for his con. So he wouldn't have made it if he didn't have a plus one, because he rolled a thirteen and then a nineteen. But the other guys both. No. Both those fail. Yeah, both the other guys failed though. And we'll see randomly which one it is. Come on, come on. Did I roll my d hundred? Oh, I did. Okay, it says thirty one, which would be. First percentage, which is this guy. So he failed. Or no, he succeeded because it was one out of three. So this guy succeeded. He's a lucky duck. All right. Um, he's still taking half damage. All right. Ooh, nice. Sonic. And I'm just gonna throw my voice that I'm gonna say, "Fuck you all in particular," very loudly and painfully for those three three gnolls to take three d8 thunder damage. What the heck did you do? Oh, you shatter. I do shatter. Two yep. of those are eights. So 16 plus 3, uh, 17, 18, 19. So one of them takes, uh, 9? Yeah. Half a one of them takes 9 damage. The other two take 19. All right, so this one over here, he takes, you know, a little bit, he's like, rah, and then these two over here, uh, they, they vibrate for a second and seem to be unaffected, and then they explode into a million pieces. Hell yeah, I killed two of them. Nice, and you just take one and say, nice. Well, thank you. Wait a minute, how does that work so well? I'm really good at what I do. And then I'm going to move... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yar. For 30 feet. Should be good. Cool, I'm gonna move right there and I'm gonna be done. And I'm gonna be muttering the whole way. I'm just like, fucking wedge. Fucking going down every single time. I mean, all Wedge is a badass. He must, he must constantly push the limit. And also ostracize himself from a group, making him an easy target to pick off. Exactly. I had to get into an ample position so I could possibly hit all three of them. Damn fool is what you did. You were is what you were. I mean, it did look cool doing it, though. If that was an animated scene, it would have looked pretty badass. You would have lost style yeah. points for missing the third one, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hitting the first two, though, that's epic. But if anything, it reinforced the point that he can shoot a freaking arrow and not hit someone in the crowd. In all fairness, my ass was grabbed and threw me off. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure, buddy. We didn't see that, so we don't know if you're telling the truth. Right. I mean, they technically didn't see that. <laughs> exactly. And frankly, the last person that went down was me. Yeah, yeah. My turn's done. <laughs> now I'm done. Go, Florence. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> um, by the way, did any of them? Oh, great! When she did shatter, yep, there goes my dagger too. Because I'm getting out. Let me guess the question of which one of those gnolls had my dagger? 
<laughs> Which one of the gnolls had the dagger sticking out of it? Mm. Yes, That's a good question. Well, going based on the different placements of the gnolls that I had, uh, it was probably the gnoll that was over here. It would not have been those two gnolls, I don't believe. No, it would have been... We had one, two, three, four. Yeah, no. Yeah, that dagger's gone, isn't it? I mean, it's somewhere. Yeah, I'll give you my dagger. I'll give you my dagger. How about that? She's like, I just really need a dagger right now. She has no weapon. Yeah, that's fair. That is three. You really want that spear earlier. Yeah, you really want that spear. You know what? You're downplaying a spear. Okay, let me go. Okay, let me just start throwing this as the engineer at this point. Throw your spear. You got this. Go for it, babe. You got this. If it wasn't that I am with the sea of this would be really a torturous nightmare. That is the only saving grace that I know how to- I'm glad that that's the case. Oh gosh. Can she get the health action from her familiar? Sure. <laughs> Part of health yeah. action. <laughs> yeah. You know, in one of my D&D groups I'm part of, on Facebook, someone was actually communicating about the health action because it makes things too easy. Which, the only thing is, is like, if you're being a good DM, DM it shouldn't because your conflict shouldn't come based purely on whether or not a roll succeeds. Like, there's no tension in that case. Then if they're doing badly, they're always doing badly. If they're doing well, they're always doing well. There has to be some player, like, input on it. Like, the players have to make choices that make things easier or harder on it. Yes. I feel like the gnoll actually looks at you like really. Yes, and he just looks at it sadly. It's like yes. He's just gonna be like, just just use your magic, man. He doesn't know you're out, obviously, but he's just like you know, man. No, she's not out of magic. It's just she's trying to conserve her shit. And she just looks at it and is like, I don't want to use magic, a heavy amount of magic. In which case it means, unless we're moving, which I wouldn't suggest because then you'll be attacked. But I mean. Yeah. Then again, you got really good armor, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> That's why I like ghost characters. <laughs> you got armor? Ha! <laughs> Or she's just gonna kind of... Nah, no, nah, she's not gonna try that. Wait, you just made a death saving throw. Yeah, I roll my d20. And I'll get a six. Ooh. One strike. Oh, yeah. okay. Someone better hurry up and get to him. I will on my turn. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this one's gonna move out of range, provoking an attack of opportunity. Yep, in which she's gonna try for it. That's a hit. It happens. Uh, it's gonna attack you. Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Is there another, you know, you here? No, there's a lot of yous. You are. So. Yeah, yeah. To the unconscious and totally <laughs> undefended 
that's the best example. Is like this dragon is the easiest thing in the world to kill. I'm just going to slip poison into its food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I got a hit. Um, I'm a 14 armor class. Alright, I did a 13, so that's 13 <laughs> plus 4. Oh, I almost celebrated too. Yeah, sorry, because I do my rules without the additional of their attacks, and then it's... I don't want to put the plus 4 on, then I gotta add it and change it for every creature. Um, but yeah, it's alright, they don't do that much damage, honestly. How much did it hit me for? That's a good question. I like to show you guys now. I feel like it makes it like less like I'm fucking with you. There you go. One That's damage. technically one plus two, so three. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, My turn now, or is this one still have to go? This one has to go as well as good old Donnie. Uh, Donnie smacks this one on the head again with the staff, and you just hear a squish sound. And it slices back at Donnie and then yells out in a rage. And uh, this one suddenly feels inspired. And it attacks you again. What? Oh. <laughs> a little ability called <clears throat> Incite Rampage. Indeed, the huffiness. Puff. Holy shit, he barely hit 13 again with plus, well, then plus 4, so 17, but he barely hit by, like, 3. And... Bam. Oh, that one's a 6, so 4 plus 2. Oops. I'm at 17 damage! Oh, you're fine, then. I'm hurt. You know, we did like five damage. There's, I mean, ten. Something like that. I don't know. It hurt me so much. And uh, then that's the turn. Okay, now it's my turn. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. Are, are, are you sure? Are you sure yeah, about because that? Because I'm going to say, fuck you in advance. I use my cutting word in advance from whatever he's going to attack me with. Okay, you can also use cutting words after the run goes, after the attacks hit. So like I say, I'm going to attack and I attack, then you can be like, all right, I want cutting words that, but he's obviously gonna. So you're cutting words in it, which is good. Yeah, it's like, you can't hit me. You can't hit me, motherfucker, you can't So hit go, me. go ahead and roll your minuses. Come on, six, do real good. So I rolled a two. <laughs> Where was that one thing were attacking me? Uh, to be fair, that was around. It's just I had a lot more opportunities because gangbang. I think Karma wanted to get even for you for saying, and I go to the poor maid that did nothing to you. <laughs> But I, <laughs> I think it was more about the gnolls wa gnolls wanting to get revenge. Uh, but you're gonna go and healing stuff, yeah? I am going to use one of the potions of healing I have. I have two. Nice. I'm use one of them. All right. How are you using it? Just for comic effect, it doesn't actually matter. Are you just gonna like shove it in his mouth, stick it up his butt, pulling... smash it on his head? <laughs> I'm pulling the cork off, and I am like, I am. I am kneeling down and I'm pulling the cork off really angry like and I just kind of like dump it in his mouth and then hold his nose and shut his mouth so he can pop it. Uh, for a second it was playing out like a Disney princess scene and then it was went awfully so no but yeah. my 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 choice is always I attack with the healing potion so that they get another death strike but then are immediately pulled back up. <laughs> This way, when he wakes up, he's gonna think I'm smothering him. With your boobs? Hi. <laughs> See, this is why I say, smash it on his head! Uh, I already have to hold for how much healing you get. 
you yeah, can get four plus two. I think that smash it on the bag. He didn't know what more. I already, I already explained how I did it. <laughs> Watching he actually had to peek around the knoll. Like, I want to watch this shit. Can you watch this one? And a four. Two fours. So that's eight plus two is ten. You get ten hit points back. Okay, so I'm back up to ten hit points. Yeah, but you're prone. Also true. Mm-hmm. Huzzah! <laughs> Meanwhile, Lauren is just peeking, like, uh, trying to peek over the knoll and, like, watching. I know that this is not the I know that this is not the case, right? So we can just watch him get to the end of the map, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, 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 so talking is free action, right? Yeah. Yeah, for about a couple seconds. Okay, so I say, I say to Wedge, now that he opens his eyes, I say, I say, I say, I say, uh, oh shit, do I know that in canon yet? Oh shit. Ha. I like I know that in canon yet. Probably not. Ha. Fuck. I say, um, I say death didn't want you yet. And then I just get up. And I take my crossbow, and I end my turn. Wedge raises his hand up with a thumbs up. Nice. And you just hear Florence says, Now you know how it feels! So can you not do it? Well, he didn't, he didn't actually die. You know that. It's just unconscious. I know, but if he it had to be guys, though. At least no one stabbed him while he was doing that. Well, yeah. I could have stabbed him. I don't know who will run into the healer again. And plus, it's a pain in the ass. You know. Yeah, but it's your turn again, Florence. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to knock down this guy and then just gonna catch this guy. Does, does someone want to explain to me why there's two bees? What? At which, fence, at which point you just hear, oh shit, they see me! Oh, and you bend the chest out. There's two! Why is there two? I also want to know why the uh, cat me is over here. Cat you's over here too, it's just that uh, Catharsis hopped off of you when you were dead. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay, so that makes me a better note of it, so it's not only when we're dead. I really hope I didn't waste my healing potion on you, because you would be the not real one. No, no, that's... <laughs> you just hear someone say, if he's not the real one, then it's a little awkward. Because I'm not the real one. It's almost satisfying, but I'm not going to tell you that. I don't know about you. I mean, seriously, See, I don't know if that's if which one's actually me because you know Axel has a message to be saying which one's actually me. <laughs> Here's the real question, and something I know nobody's considered yet. Who says that you are not the real? Yeah, who says that you are the real you? If I've already changed your memories one time. The fucking was up there. <laughs> this whole. <laughs> That's why I was like, who knows if you survived this by the end of it? Because who knows if you ever survived it? <laughs> Your broken programs in the matrix, you've gone out of control. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so you just go up to this knoll and just keep looking at it with advantage for goodness sake. Uh, and no. Yeah, no, I think with the 10, she's going to have a little issues there. Wedge, welcome back to the land of the living. No. No, he wasn't dead. No! No, brain dead doesn't count. 
String snaps now. Your or your fucking bow string snaps now. You're useless. Twenty two to hit. That's a hit. I mean, what do you mean? You can't hit Knowles with a twenty two. <laughs> Blasphemy. So I'm gonna roll the damage. I'm using a normal arrow because I'm down to like twelve poisoned ones right now. It's all right. I'll let you in on a secret here. Poisoned arrows might not work against things made of rock and trees and dead bodies. Spoiler. Hashtag spoiler alert. Hashtag spoiler alert. That might also be why they exploded in that certain way. Oh, I rolled an eight for damage. He, uh, you see him and he's like, oh, God, God, I can do this. I'm the hero, Noel, of this story. None can stop me. Uh, at which point, uh... He realizes that, you know, Florence is around and he's going to try to attack, most likely in vain. Ah! <laughs> Not in vain! Oh no. Uh, can I... I'm sorry, but can I just do this? Do what? Yes, I yes, you absolutely can. That is absolutely what that is for. You are absolutely safe. And as Florence is about to be hit, she pulls up a shield, ladies and gentlemen. Shield smell is a big You have mage armor and shield smell? Yeah, it's a really good combo. Makes it really difficult to hit you unless you have something like a ghost. Yeah. Looks into the ghostly pyram. Ha ha ha! <laughs> but no, you are absolutely safe. Uh, having said that, this guy's going to be like, ah, and give him the inspiration to make. Oh, wait, no. No, he can't do that. He did that last time. It has a recharge time. My apologies. So he's done. He looks angry and defeated. Sorry, but no, no. I, I get my ass moved. Not today. Uh, and at which point this guy looks back, realizes that he uh, could not uh, do that, and you hear you see you see the staff come down one more time, and his head goes. Oh. Dead. One Dead. more. Yeah, the one that tries to kill me. Hey, you're fine. It's pretty damn it's close. Awesome. To be fair, that was also the one that put Michael down. Since technically the one that crit Michael was the one that was the uh, bow shooter. So I I killed while I rolled my hit for the crossbow. I killed the T Rex and I killed those two gnolls. So right now my kill count is three. I think I have the highest kill count. I don't think I should be proud. I mean I think if I think uh, Catharis sorry would like to you know contest that as would Donnie. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is the first time I've met them, so... Because technically, uh, <laughs> Catharsis has gotten Michael killed. Don't ask how. Don't ask how it was Catharsis' fault. But it was Catharsis' fault. At least there's some... Well, you're gonna, it's going to be surprising to you because you would think that it's all Wedge, but it's also partially Catharsis' fault. In a very long and awkward and hard to explain way that has nothing to do with the actions that actually took place, but has everything to do with context. The 22 hit. Yeah, that hits. Alright, cool, 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 cool. You get 1d8 plus 3 damage. 
so you get fucking five damage. All right, he's, he, uh, what are you using? An arrow, I assume? Yeah. Crossbow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you shoot, and he's angrily yelling at you, like, take down your cowardly magic armor, when suddenly an arrow sprouts from his chest. And he looks down, and he's like, my wife, and he falls over and dies. Oh, I got four kills now. <laughs> okay, you know, this is not something to be careful about, even though. At which point you just. Kills, but I've gotten most damage. At which point, I mean, Donnie once again comes up and is like, Bitch, please! <laughs> Damage doesn't mean anything when you can't, uh, stay alive. Yeah, if you can't finish the job, if you can't stay up long enough to finish the job... Tee hee 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 Meanwhile, I feel like there's something else we've forgotten. I haven't uh, forgotten and I'm, gonna, I'm moving away from it. No! Do you guys see that guy in the trees? Yeah! He looks an awful lot like this guy in the tree. Yeah, so which one's can the real I, one? Can I insight check which one's the weird, real wedge thing? Which is gonna help. You can. You can try. Why not? Let's do an, uh, I give you some advantage. Oh, you did me a damage good, because that first one was an eight. Let's try a second one. Second one. Nineteen. Oh, plus okay. Plus insight of three, so twenty-two. So you're pretty sure that this one is your wedge. Like, pretty sure. I'm like, I'm like 90% sure that this one is my wedge. No! That one's not my wedge. I didn't know that... There's, there's a wedge for everybody. I didn't know there was a wedge for me, a wedge for you. You can very well have that wedge, but I wouldn't recommend it. At which? No, 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 no. One wedge. No, 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 I'm just letting it out because, uh, I mean, it makes oh, sense. I mean, considering the earlier conversation, I get at least a certain error. I'm just, I'm just like, you're talking and I'm just going like, and pointing over to this other wedge that has appeared over here. We should go. We should go. You know, let's just go, though. Like, let's leave. Why are all your friends and family gathering here? Meanwhile, Ward's slowly backing away and leaving the area. Let's get into our ass and go. Make the dash. Make an 80 feet dash like a nobody business. Alright, so with that, we're able to, you know, make our way across, finally get around all the people. We, uh, we took a roundabout way towards it, but we end up back on our uh, our big carnival map we're down oh sorry wrong carnival map it's supposed to be this carnival map they're right next to each other Woo. cool 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 so i remember the way to um okay, what's it called? i remember the way to what jenny cataract hey jenny cataract i remember the way to her so let's go this way can we use just like a general perception check to see if this is actually what we see? <laughs> it's like people forgot we were in a drug trip or something. Yeah, also I would like to, uh, I haven't been saying it, but I would like to stay on alert. <laughs> Thank you. I was wondering when someone else was going to be watching for that. Oh, I forgot to add 20 on my perception. Ah, uh, so, so that makes it a 25 total. Ooh, nice. And Florence is doing, did a perception and got a 22. I also got a nat 20. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, I mean, you can tell this is not the carnival. It's dreary. We go, we'll go to our back to our other map. Uh, I believe it's this map. Oh, where to go back? Ah, 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 ah. It's this. So we're just in the forest then. Is. Give me a is 
just a minute. There's like a shack. Yeah, there's like a shack. Could you specify where this shack is? Oh, there it is. She technically. It was not. It was. Uh, also, you notice that uh, everyone seems pretty chill. Everyone's. Everyone seems to be who they say they are. Except for Catharsis. Oh no, what is Catharsis? Uh, I think we all know what Catharsis is. Donnie's here. A duck. duck again. He is, he is uh, not a duck today. Specifically not a duck today. Walking fast, walking right past my ass. I very quickly knock on the door. Who is it? Hi, uh, is, is this, is this Mini Cataracts? Some people call me that. Insensitive people. Jenny Cataracoli. Jenny Cataracoli, I apologize. Oh, Jennifer Cataracoli to my friends. Can I call you Jennifer? Are we friends? I think we're friends. Then yes. <gasps> Thank you, Jennifer. So, um, fun story. Um, is the world a little bit fucky right now? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? And Lauren looks at her like, <laughs> Um, it's super funny. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. It's the same as it was when you visited me last time. Remember all of the hints I gave you? <laughs> okay, well, I'm only, I'm a bard. Like, I'm really, like, awesome and smart and stuff. But I'm not, like... That smart to have caught those hints, Jennifer. Uh, so, so here I am now asking you for help in this endeavor to uh, uh, figure out how to leave the fuck world. I assume you mean my my lovely friend here, and she kind of like rubs the ground and it like rumbles under her. I want to look you I'm Lauren, and I have a lot of Do go on. Um, first of all, I'm younger, adorable, hard friend, um, word child. That's fine. I haven't seen a bard like you in 200 years. Thank you. I'm 57. Uh, recently aged. Friend of ours. A filthy Oh. So. Jenny, 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 uh, J J not. What's his real name? Generax. Yeah, what you want? Um, we want to leave. We want to leave this place. Uh, it's great. It's wonderful. But like, uh, I have a delicate constitution, and it's a little bit much for me. Okay. We're trying to make it through. Uh, you just hear him say, lift me up to face height. I, I hold them up to face height. He says, Jenny! Jennifer! At which point you see her non-eyes squint somehow, as well as him rolling his eyes despite not having any. He said, Jenny, in front of you! She's like, ah! Good old Jenny! 
Yes, Jenny, it's Jenny. How have you been? Dead. Yeah, you were that way last time. Yeah, the kids want to know how to leave. Oh, that's going to be tough. Yeah, that's what I told him. Do, do you have Zarathos? Kind of. We do have a set soul. That is not a part of him. Yeah. We have part of him. Yeah, we have part of him. I would Um, in the meantime, Axel, I'm gonna whisper you real quick. Okay. Continue. So, uh, basically, the school told them to go to Ginny Cataracts because she was one of the oldest citizens at the carnival, and that they would get answers from her. No, no, because then um, are we getting fortune reading? Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, my fortune? Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah. Well, fortune from You already, I, uh, my, it was a, it was a, it was certainly a fortune. I wasn't, uh, the first part wasn't super fun for me, um, but the second said basically not to trust anybody, and then um, Jen left, and so the fortune was proven right. Um, so. I swear to God, don't you say my fucking name. I'm only gonna say your name. You have, I thought you have, clearly. Your name is not a bad deal. Dun dun dun. Just like other things. Oh no. <laughs> this one is like, it's not, I'm sorry, but you're, it, yeah, I'm sorry, but your name ain't that pretty. Your name ain't that beautiful. Uh, so this is gonna be a fun one. She's, uh, she's gonna look at you all and she's gonna say, So, you guys have got the soul. Um, well, rough. There's only two ways I can see this going. Do, do, do I get to eat the marshmallow? Please tell me I get to eat the marshmallow. If you are somehow able to do it, you can put more than one soul into a lich. But. Um, if I can. Do I believe her? Resurrected by Tiamat. I mean, I've already lived. I almost died. Does that count? Probably not. Maybe so. I don't know. You call that living? Blech. Yeah, do it. Does Does my name succeed? Uh, I'm double checking on some people's stuff. I think. What about the feet, sorry? You think? Yeah, I mean, it technically succeeds. <sighs> wow, that was a close one. Okay, um, so back in character now. So I'm going to take off the soul shower. A reminder that stealth of. <laughs> uh, slight. Those checks, right? You don't know when other people see things that you do. That's right. Uh, okay, so Florence takes her last thing. What, what, okay, okay, so what does the last thing that Carly remember saying other than uh, Florence, you know, having really familiar and just having really familiar come back? That's what I see. Uh, uh, you know, it's certainly 
somewhere. I certainly saw it somewhere. Yes, I believe so. You will die and then you will live. I mean... Uh, we don't want to talk about that. I mean, partially I've already dealt with those. Yeah, but yeah, her, I, 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 I killed her. Ah. Because he's a high touch down. Then you should thank him, for you will never die again. That is your future. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, thank you, thank you very much. And as for you, she points at Donnie, you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Typical. It's like I told you four times I didn't love you, but you insisted on all of it. You're a horn. Whoa. No, come on, fake Donnie. <laughs> At which point, uh, you notice that there is a small fake Donnie now next to the real Donnie. But for some reason, uh, I can't actually make him any smaller than this, but this this Donnie is smaller than the regular Donnie. Like, imagine a my, uh, like a quarter size. Like a mini-me. Kinda. He's like, come on, fake Donnie! He just looks at you. Would you stop trying to eat it if I gave you a real marshmallow? No. Yes, please. No, I want that one. Can we try to convince you that the other marshmallows are much more tastier than this one? No. To be fair, that the soul is actually exceedingly delicious. At which, po at which point the soul's like, shut the fuck up. She said it was delicious. I want it. I want it. I want it. You're gonna listen to her? <laughs> Again, Jan Rex is like, wait, wait, wait a minute now. I didn't say that either. What did you okay? What did you say? But, no, I mean, he, he didn't say that, she said that, but he's saying, like, I, I didn't agree to this. Okay, okay. no one said that was safe. Okay. You can tie a rock to your dick and throw it off the bridge, it doesn't make it a good idea. <laughs> Sound like he's a barbarian. <laughs> he is a barbarian. Yeah. He looks like a ranger to me. <laughs> That's what I said. You just hear Donnie say, "No, you don't even now like the real goddamn Cathars." <laughs> See, that's not an answer. <laughs> it's like, let's just not test the cases. <laughs> there won't be any cases. <laughs> Ooh, the logic. 
how do do we get do we get Jenny a, a body get again so he can have two souls in it? I mean, he has a body right now, just not like a body body. That's his body, believe it or not. The, the skull. Yeah, liches are just skulls. Yes. There is a question of ability. Nice. So it's not technically true. Technically, a lich can have a body, but the lich itself, its power resides in the head. The rest of his body is for show. So you know that she's telling the truth, but she's talking about a demi lich. And which he kind of sizes it. But he, I don't think he classifies as a demi lich. I'm a hand in a jar. Screw you. Give it back my other eye. You stole my ruby. You still have my ruby. I have three eye. eyes. God damn it. Give me back my ruby, and I'll find you an eye. Fine. But that ruby was one of my eyes. I need another ruby for my eye. Do I get my ruby back? You get another ruby of equal or less value. <laughs> I'm still standing between Florence and Florence and Wedge, so then he'll have to get through me to get that soul. And I'm still staying on alert. And so, um, this is like an addition, as well as keeping it far away from it. As well as any sports that are looking for the violation. But see, the problem is, I don't think Wedge has actual thoughts. It's hard to influence the thoughts of someone who is thoughtless. I would like to, I would like to agree with that, but here's my argument. He probably would just use I mean, oh, I can try. Uh, Seven 
Checked yourself in too long. <laughs> Things go missing when you don't pay attention to them in this game. People too. Did you lose your show? I am so done with this shit. The fucking part is he hasn't even checked. In case. And then he says this. joke has been every time you ask what is he saying, he's saying silly bard. <laughs> <laughs> that is the longest running joke right now in this current campaign. Hey, quick question. How much, uh, how many hit points does Sarah Joe have? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> to be fair, that one's not Sherisho saying that. That's fucking Donnie. Oh, that's Donnie saying that? Yeah, yeah. It says Donnie shows back up with a small snake in his mini me, speaking draconic. Oh, okay. So I say, hey, I say, I say, I say, um, hey, Donnie. I say, hey, Donnie, how do you measure the length of specifically your dick? You don't, because you don't have a microscope. No, we think it is. Donnie, roll the nat 20. Uh, he's going to reply with, uh, it's a good thing your mother's a scientist. <laughs> My mother's dead, how dare you? It's a good thing I'm a necromancer. <laughs> THOS. Yeah, I just had to make sure if it was a Z or an X. Because that becomes very particular with what I just say right now. Oh, Lord, yes. I'm also still holding seven tiny souls, just so you're aware. They kind of click together when I move. I like his. He hasn't even done any intuition checks because he's just like, no! He's stubborn. He wants the big soul. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess he's a big soul. 
I'm just waiting because I have plans for both of these. I'll even write them down and, and message them to someone. But they're just not allowed to look at it. I wish I could have like a timer that I could do it. Souls soul taste good, so you know I'm going fortune teller. Fortune teller is working like that. I will. I will. I will. Jennifer, I Jennifer. Jennifer. <sighs> wow. I cannot say it's a lot. I've been over it a lot longer than her. That these seven tiny souls are better than that one big soul. Will you please tell him that, Jennifer? You know, I'd like to, but it's uh, it actually is about the size of the soul. At which point she pulls out an even bigger soul. Oh shit! Oh, oh, give me that! Give me that! I want it. I want it. Oh lord! Now I have to make some D one hundred rolls. And and I I I drop the illusion on my handful of dice and I say, well, it's one thing you didn't take me that far to die. I throw it back in my bag. memory serves. looks pensive. He's like, my memory is very cheesecake. But, no, fuzzy, that's the word. Fuzzy. But. The last thing I remember... We're getting, we're getting development wedge. The last thing that I remember was talking with Zarathos about a particularly interesting land we were moving into. I said that it looked like my hometown, but Zarathos, he was convinced that we were heading into a holy city. Into a holy city? According to him. Jenny speaks up. Poor fools blinded by their eyesight. And she laughs. It's like, don't you laugh at me, Jenny. I was there that day, and I warned them that the only thing in this land was death. But they wouldn't listen. No, the blind chick doesn't know what she's talking about. God forbid I see the future. Fuck you, Jenny. Fuck you too, Jenny. <laughs> Uh, you're aware of 
Oh, you can't fool me. They can show me an illusion now, but I see the future. I know what's actually going on here. I saw it yesterday. And the day before. And the day before that. Then you you kind of get the idea. Jennifer, give me this doll so I can free myself from this hell. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. I have no idea what this soul is. That's fine. I'm willing to accept it. Be its vessel. Are we good? I, I'd step back. She sets it on the ground and backs up over here. Okay, thanks. Wedge, Wedge grabs the soul. When, uh, when, uh, uh I, I bump into the barn and I walk by, as I run the fairway. Donnie's, like, coming closer. What's going on? I'm not up there, actually. I think we're going to run over here with you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want to note that Donnie's double and Catharsis double both backed off. <laughs> oh, I also want to note that the real Shara show is still with Donnie. Which one's Donnie? Which one's Donnie again? That one's Donnie? Damn. Hi! What are you doing? Yes. So does that mean we can do a hypothetical of how long we've been spending on here Hmm, that's a little harder. I don't exist in this regular scope of time, so I don't see it like you do. In your perspective, maybe uh, a week? But uh, not all of you. How long have I been here? Well, the people who were here longer were here longer, and the people who were here shorter were here shorter. Wedge here has only been here for like an hour. For like a day? Does that mean I'm not actually. Does that mean I'm not actually aged? Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm actually like 30? <laughs> Oh shit. Oh god, I would be 15 then. Oh god! What happened? I mean, you know, how long is that? Hmm. You were a little longer than a week. Maybe a week and a half. Maybe. Oh god, I would be 15 again. I would be a teenager again! Some of us would give our life not for that. You just hear Donnie yell out. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh, God, he's eating the soul. Oh, <laughs> See what he prayed for. <laughs> I, 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 basically, I said, I call to Tiamat to give me the power to accept the soul. Uh, this is going to be fun, especially because it's going differently than I originally planned for any of it. Can I, can I give him bardic inspiration? Yeah, I mean, you can. I don't think he's going to do much, though. Don't die! <laughs> and now you guys are going to be really mad, because... Cutscene! Ha 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 It's 9-12, it's the end of the episode. No, we're going to do it. Let's have more questions now. Exactly, it's the greatest stopping point, because now we start and see if Michael's character dies next time. <laughs> Okay, but now Florence has more questions because of this. Yes, 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 y
Yes. Yes. So, to put it quite simply, you had many things that you, you know, when you came here, but the mimic takes them all and will sometimes recreate them or make you forget about them in order to make this effect seem reasonable to you. The items can be found somewhere around the carnival, most likely equipped to some moving monstrosity. I like to call them the workers. Yes. Just make sure that you don't see any of the ringleaders. I was a ringleader. No, no, you were, you were an, an illusion. The fact that I'm not a child anymore is an illusion, apparently. Yes, it is very interesting. But the reason these doubles are made is so that the carnival itself may continue to function. It does the carnival's will, it gains a portion of your power as its own, and when you die, it gains all of your power as its own. Okay. When we die, I'm guessing on the ground by not just there, but on the Yes, though it's unlikely that the carnival will kill you while you're here. The reason is that as you grow outside of the carnival, so too does your double grow inside of the carnival. And in this way, the elder monstrosity of a creature that we live on, myself at least, gains power. Those that it deems too strong, not strong enough, or simply unwilling to accept the illusion are killed and used to feed the grass. Which is really the mimic. Uh, yes. And I'm guessing we're not taking a fight with it anytime soon. We're not around the clock. We're, we're under. We're understated. You just hear Donnie just. Wah! Ha! So we have fear. We're a. We're just going to probably. Uh, I mean, more like think of it like ants. I mean, an ant could technically kill you, probably. But you would have to be seriously injured. Yeah, it would probably take a really long time in, in, in addition. Yeah, uh, Well, is there any... Okay, no. Okay, so other than having an idiot, which kind of motion to sit away, control and power away further, Mm. She's gonna put her hands together, put them up to her lips, and then slowly pull them down. No. <laughs> to be fair, what he's doing has nothing to do with what you're doing. <laughs> Well, I mean, he ate this soul that I gave him. Yeah. That's not the soul that, you know, we need two really powerful magic users like a, an elder cleric, a, you know, a high-level cleric and a demi-lich, or a lich appearing near demi-lich abilities. going to die for no reason. I mean, it will. No, he's going to die. It's also quite delicious. At which point the skull under you is like, he's right, she's right though. Tastes like ice cream mixed with sex. Would 
Sex cream. God damn it, I have to wait until next week to figure out what fucking happens. <laughs> you know the reason though is because I have one, I have to like work out some of the details because I've changed it a little bit because you're doing a different soul now, so I have to like cop it. But uh, but since you're eating this soul, I can tell you already, and she, since she's already suggested it, I can tell you why I wanted you to and didn't want you to, because I have a plan for if you did or if you did not, and both are really cool. They're really good ideas I'm glad I came up with, but I could only do one. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, I'll just put another soul in there. <laughs> well, see, they wouldn't give me the fucking, they wouldn't give me the Arithrosis soul, so you know what? I just that's what that was kind of my thing is like he doesn't give a shit if it's that soul he just wants the soul to eat because he's stupid to be fair to be fair I did try to steal it back she did she fucked up that sleight of hand pretty bad though yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everybody saw that by the way mm -hmm. uh, so I like I saw a good way of how to explain sleight of hand uh, unless someone's like gripping onto something, right? Like holding it, you're going to be able to take whatever it is you're taking. I guess the slide of hand check is to see if they notice you take it or not. Oh shit, so I did take it. Uh, with a 12? I guess, yeah, well, she had already had it, actually. She stole it from you when you weren't paying attention earlier and then slipped it back into your bag, like, ten minutes ago or some shit. Like, Because I thought you were going to pull it out and give it to her, but then you didn't. Oh, my God. We what we planned to do with it. Shove it in his mouth? You can have a point for the wall. Paul gave it to Ed, and I was going to let that happen. Uh, she actually had already told you what to do with it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> which is why I said it's like I already had a plan for what was originally going to happen. Then I just wanted to eat the soul, which was stupid. <laughs> so I had to come up with a plan for that, which wasn't too hard. It was. It's. It's going to be a little less funny, but also funny as hell. <laughs> Because it's going to be both... I, I never give, like, full buffs or nerfs. I always give a buff nerf. <laughs> so it's like, you get a nice thing, but you also have to pay for it in some way. That's usually how D&D &D balances out stuff. Absolutely. That's like what he did with the failures. It's like, I'll give you nice things, but first I'll take it all away. Yep. Started off as a level 5 uh, druid. Fire Gnosti ends up turning into a as a soulless, looks like a fire canasi, but different coloration. No, I'm not terrified of the boat, just, you know, I'm going to listen to him when he said, no, no, I'm fine. Hey, but did Raven say that going to try to heal you? When to heal you? Well, fine. He has a minute. Can I point out too? Um, I am. I've always said that Kylie's been at the carnival for for fifteen or twenty years. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, call it now and say fifteen. That way, it's not weird if we do all survive because uh, half elves are adults at twenty. I also want to remind everyone that you've been gaining age when you take damage. Remember? Yeah, but I thought that was me. <sighs> that one is not. So your, per your perceived age is. So this is going to sound real fucked up, but the magic that makes you look young or older, right, is from the carnival. The magic that changed your age is from the skull. That's okay, we can just have the skull change us back to our rages. Ah, you assume that he did it on purpose. But when when I took damage from the knoll, you gave me 19 ages. Yes. Years. 
so remember earlier when you guys were kind of futzing around with the skull and touching it and doing all that stuff and a bunch of random magic stuff was happening yeah so it the one of the times it hit you was to aid you right that was one of the random magic effects was to aid you mm -hmm. You guys hit another astoundingly similar magic effect that is whenever this character takes damage, they age or de age. <laughs> And it, the problem is it was really hard to tell the difference because every time you guys touch the skull and it pushes you back, it would do one point of damage. Okay. Okay. So the 15 or 20 years is fake. Assuming that you don't de-age after this in some way, as you are still aging when you take damage, or de-aging, it's a random effect. Wait a minute, got a quick question. Is it an effect only those two? Yes, because you were not in the radius when that happened. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I don't remember if you remember, but this is all, I, you know, in the tapes and in the back, and I remember because I have to go back and edit them. But if you remember, that was at a point where you had they had gone off to... You weren't, like, far away. You were, like, 30 feet away, but it was only a 10-foot effect range, and they were, like, dra grabbing the skull from each other, I believe, was the impetus for it. It was, like, either Michael was stealing the skull from her, or she was stealing the skull from Michael. I can't remember which one. It was it was trying to take the skull from Charlie to all of it. <laughs> and uh, I just I just asked just out of curiosity and as well as twenty is all now. Not only so <laughs> it was smart to stand away from the adults two when they had the skull at hand. So brownie points for me for that one. I just Oh gosh, excuse me. I'm just trying to make sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And that brings up a better question. Once, you know, once they were off the farm again, does the effect still stay in the, uh, the same, you know, same Well, remember, it's not a carnival effect. What are they nearby right now that causes that effect? I know, I know. But don't you the question because you know what? That. You know you're nearby the soul right now, or the skull right now. But I was there for the initial Right, so the initial hit adds it, but now you are near the skull. I would be careful, the skull still gives off random magic whenever it's hit or something. Yeah. So. Also, I love that no one has, like, discussed what's gonna happen if they try to do what the lady says. Like Wedge is right, but he doesn't know it. <laughs> He's right for the wrong reason. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna throw this rock in the river because I think it'll make the river higher. It won't, but it will actually run down the river and create a beautiful tsunami ten million we weeks later or some shit. <laughs> and then I like how he like he, I like how he's pointing out that apparently we're being pessimists, but keep in mind, Juan is like two fifty years old. Discord chat could be real or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to 
I mean, you'll probably, if you make it out, be an adult. That's good. That's why I don't want it to be weird. And if Rick makes it out, you never know. You might become ageless. That's true. You're, you're, you're dead. You're ageless. It's like, I'm just gonna kill Michael's character and have Tiamat resurrect him as, like, I don't know, like a familiar. <laughs> He's just gonna be, it's like, him and Ursula are gonna die in a tragic accident and fucking just, just gonna switch places. <laughs> <laughs> just every day is just your pseudo dragon poops on your head. Awful dragons. <laughs> the funny thing is, it would be an equally bad relationship for both of you. Because <laughs> it would be a telepathic relationship. <laughs> 